Concerns over environmental degradation and dwindling fossil fuel supplies have spurred efforts into developing renewable energy resources. As solar energy is available intermittently, processes that can convert sunlight into storable fuels present a more sustainable option. One such option is photocatalytic water splitting or artificial photosynthesis that has attracted much attention as this process allows for the large-scale production of hydrogen as a renewable fuel. However, the durability of photocatalytic systems has been a long-standing barrier to the practical application of this technology. The present study addressed this problem and demonstrated that durability of photocatalytic water-splitting panels could be extended to over 1,300 hours of continuous illumination by modifying the photocatalysts used to spark this process. Briefly, during water splitting, negatively charged electrons and positively charged holes are generated in the presence of sunlight and a photocatalyst. While the photocatalyst, decorated with the rhodium-chromium oxide co-catalyst, can efficiently decompose water into hydrogen and oxygen, it tends to degrade with time owing to corrosion of the chromium species. To prevent the holes from oxidizing and degrading the rhodium-chromium oxide, the authors added cobalt oxyhydroxide, which promoted the stable oxidation of water. Thus, this study provides a solution to the long-standing challenge of increasing the lifespan of photocatalytic systems and promotes engineering of large-scale photocatalytic water-splitting reactors. Considering that the energy industry is one of the biggest sectors of economy, obtaining abundantly available and cost-effective renewable hydrogen could reduce environmental load and improve the sustainability of our lives.